Hi guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. So guess what? Like I'm doing like a reading a little bit earlier than uh, <laughs> expected because honestly, I got this beautiful tarot deck. Like if you can see, this is like transparent. Okay. <laughs> and i can't wait like i have been reading up um about how to do this and uh, i wanted to uh kind of practice <laughs> in a way although i do know like i have been doing um you know stuff for myself just to see how good i can be at this but now i wanted to like put it out there to see um what sort of messages it gives okay so let's let's this is the transparent tarot for uh the tarot readers <laughs> for, who are uh, interested in decks uh this is the transparent tarot i do not remember the name of the author but you can check that out on google okay so i'm going to be doing this and there is a different uh, method to this okay so <clears throat> we will do this like we'll see what it is what comes out as we go further okay now the first pile is the purple stone the second pile is the navy blue stone and the third pile is the yellow stone or or it's kind of like uh, dark yellow okay so i will be putting this up in the thumbnail as well all right so that you guys can have a clearer picture but now let's start with pile number 1 which is i'm placing it here because i'm reading from it so the purple pile um strangely my bracelet is purple my dress is purple <laughs> the flowers are purple <laughs> it all just kind of you know like got into place it fell into place i would say all right so what is a special message from the divine to pile number one a special message from the divine to pile number one I am going to cut it as well. Okay, so the way this deck works is that I have to put the cards one on top of the other. All right. So what do we have here? Queen of Cups. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a, a painting. Queen of Cups. On top of that, I'm supposed to keep this. Okay, what is this? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, yeah, you can't see, right? Yeah, two. Hmm. What does it say? There is a crescent moon here. Mm, I think this is the high priestess because it's card two. It says in the pages of a secret book lies the key to your inner lock. The insight is a true gaze, truer gaze, the wisest light to guide your days. Mm. So now I need to put this like on top of this. All right. To kind of make some sort of a painting sort of right okay now i have this which is the judgment card we have like a phoenix rising here so i'm gonna have to interpret from this kind of like a diagram that i have what exactly is the message for pile number one <clears throat> see pile number one i'm getting the message here that like there are many messages I'm getting here, okay? The first message that I'm getting here is that there is something in your subconscious mind, okay? Um, which is the key to some sort of knowledge, 
okay this is what it tells you in the pages here your subconscious your subconscious your intuition okay your psychic sight is the key to unlock forbidden knowledge that you hold within you the queen of cups is holding a cup here and she's covered by the moon okay your intuition i am sensing is either very strong pile one or it is becoming stronger like you are literally this queen of cups is literally being enveloped by the moon and the moon signifies intuition knowledge mysteries all of those things okay and on top of that i am getting a phoenix rising all right i am sensing pile one that you guys the message for you guys is that you are in the process of huge awakening and ascension as a result of this you are now going to be tapping in more and more into your intuition and as a result of you tapping into that intuition you are going to find some hidden knowledge okay um what is this I, it's very intriguing because it is the high priestess and the high priestess holds a book right a book of knowledge now this could this this information this knowledge is stored deep within your subconscious mind it's coming up now okay maybe because of your awakening ascension whatever it is now coming up in the conscious mind all right this is some sort of like very deep sacred ancient knowledge that is going to be rising up from within your subconscious mind to the conscious mind okay for others of you i'm getting you are getting like wiser <clears throat> a lot of wisdom lies within you within every soul there is a lot of wisdom obviously we know that but we tap into that wisdom only when we connect to the subconscious mind okay so this is what is happening to you guys pile one you are tapping in into your subconscious mind you are awakening you are ascending okay it is possible that you have gone through a very tough time recently okay and now it's time for you to rise okay that tough time did not back you down okay maybe some of you have gotten up because of this knowledge that you hold very deep within you okay it's possible you don't even know what this is but this is some awareness that keeps you going you are like the phoenix bird you don't back down pile one okay no matter what you don't back down because your intuition keeps telling you to go ahead your hidden knowledge which you might not even be aware of consciously keeps telling you to go on you have risen again or are very soon going to rise again back you you're coming back more fiery more passionate more fiery more brave and strong the divine feminine energy within you is rising and the divine feminine does indicate intuition right this is what i was getting your intuition you, you know is rising your subcon you're tapping in you are um, breaching your subconscious mind okay this is what is happening to you and the divine wants you to know that okay but i'm very intrigued by this message about what is this hidden knowledge uh the divine can you please tell me what is this hidden knowledge that you were mentioning for pile 1 okay let me ask this question
so what do we have here we have the eight of swords this is the right side up yeah eight of swords okay hmm it has been trapped within you okay it's kind of been because of your mind because swords indicate the mind this is something you have you, that is trapped within you what is this This is the lovers six it's something to do with love or it's something to do with the balance of the masculine and feminine energies yeah this is the feminine energy that you have been that has been entrapped let me just pick up one more card okay what is this knight yeah knight of swords it's fast okay what do i see here you know what guys i'm actually seeing the yin yang balance coming about to you guys for you guys okay within your heart space within your heart space lies the perfect equilibrium okay within the heart space lies the key to unlocking your spirit and this is what has been entrapped we saw in the previous um, you know like reading that the feminine energy was rising and i do sense with this eight of swords here your feminine self because this is a lady wearing a skirt right your feminine energy energy was locked maybe you guys were like this knight of swords swords is the masculine energy a lot of thought okay now what's happening is that the masculine energy of the knight of swords is bowing down and setting free the feminine energy so that you guys come into perfect balance and when you achieve this perfect balance is when you rise you ascend okay this is a process going on very deep within you pile number 1 okay this is what the divine this is a special message from the divine you are ascending and the reason you are ascending is because your feminine and masculine energies are coming into balance okay wow all right i want to like pick up one more for advice so what is the advice for pile number 1 advice for pile 1 spirit advice Okay, what do we have here? We have six of cups, and what is this? Oh, okay, it's the fool. Hmm. Six of cups, the fool, and two of wands. Okay, let me just put this. <laughs> okay so what is the message here what is the advice for you guys see i am getting that 26 hmm okay <clears throat> i once again see a balance right this is one this is a masculine energy this is the feminine energy this is the six of cups and this is the fool okay i am getting here to be very gentle with yourself pile one at this time okay it's possible right now you guys are literally like you know in a state of war you know within yourself because energies are balancing out within you okay it's possible one one time you go totally you know uh, like very very uh, logical and on the other side you might be going uh, very 
emotional okay spiritual emotional all right this process this intense like war of opposites is what is going on right now and this is what is causing you to rise and ascend this is what is causing you to transform you're going through a big transformation pile one okay this is what the divine wants to tell you this is a special message and the divine is also saying that you know to be gentle with yourself with the six of cups okay seek help if you need from someone elder to you from someone who can help you okay but very soon you're going to be in light energies you're not going to be in this warring energy anymore okay you're going to be in a very light energy you're coming out of your cocoon okay because of the balance you're coming out of your cocoon okay and like you know you're growing you're growing as a person you're growing as a soul your soul is you know coming into balance and you know like your masculine and feminine are coming into balance and that's why your soul is emerging there is a small plant here as well as you can see your soul spark is is rising guys this is what i was getting with the phoenix bird as well your soul spark is rising and the divine wants you to maintain equilibrium that's the first advice okay don't go shifting too much into the logical or too much into the emotional intuitive okay keep a balance that's one second thing is be light at this time don't get into tough emotions i know it's easier said than done but try your best to be light hearted okay this time is going to pass you are not going to there's nothing wrong that's happening it's something very good okay i am getting to keep yourself in light energies all right and the third thing i'm getting is to kind of like hydrate yourself that's one the second thing i'm getting is you know have fun with children okay children will help you to come out of this really intense energy okay it's also red right yeah children are going to help you come out of this intense energy maybe friends okay friends loved ones okay talking to them just in general sharing good times and fun times and light times is going to help you during this process okay this is also a purple stone which is a very spiritual color right and so this is what i'm getting there's a heavy uh, you know ascension happening for you guys pile one at this time go easy on yourself be light on yourself and you need to know that your soul spark has um, activated okay it has uh, become lit and right now it's growing all right so be compassionate on yourself and very soon you're going to feel so much better you're going to feel so much better okay and there is a balance of the masculine and feminine energies that is taking place within you once your feminine energy which is emerging comes into balance you are going to tap into a lot of hidden wisdom that your soul contains because it is a spark of god right you are going to become very intuitive people pile number 1 okay <laughs> this is what i'm getting for you pile 1 it's a short reading right now because i just wanted to try out this deck okay <clears throat> bye okay so pile 2 with the navy blue stone i'm going to keep it here so we know that this is the stone we are reading so spirit what is the special message for pile 2 right now what special message do you have for pile number 2 right now special message for pile 2 right now Okay so let's let's start uh what is this king of cups where is the king yeah <laughs> king of cups all right we had the queen of cups in the previous pile wow okay king of cups and uh, what is this four of wands okay hmm Eight of Wands. Wow, are you guys like thinking so much? <laughs> I see constant thoughts in the, over here. Um, yeah, see because 
okay there is you are the king of cups about something while two king of cups means someone who's very concerned someone who's um very emotional um very emotionally intelligent about something this may be something you want to offer okay or give to someone and i'm seeing a whole lot of like honestly i think a lot of anxiety and thoughts and impatience and <laughs> a lot of things happening here okay i am getting with the four of wands like everything is like mixed up here in the head area if you notice mm. i think you're building something maybe this is something you are building with someone okay a uh, four of wands is also something about a house or a building building something yeah you're creating something or building something is what i get okay and you're doing it in a big hurry okay you're doing it in a big hurry i feel and so this is kind of like messing you up a little bit in terms of um being calm you know what i mean okay like you guys are overthinking it honestly okay maybe there is some time limit here or something like that or maybe you want something to happen in a at a certain time you know something you want to build something with someone at a certain time whatever be the case there is a whole lot of stuff happening in your head okay it's just too much okay uh the the message over here it, that spirit wants to give to you pile number 2 is that allow okay allow things to happen do not worry okay i am getting a message that things are going to happen fast okay do not think that you know things are not they're going to just keep flowing along and you know it's going to take a long long time no no you already know you already know that you know intuitively perhaps you already know that um, something is coming very fast whatever you want okay some something you are building or something like that is coming very fast all right something has come in balance and things are going to happen very rapidly and you will ride the wave when it comes okay that's what i'm getting spirit wants to tell you you will ride the wave you will not miss out on it whatever this is okay you will ride the wave when it comes and it is coming really soon okay whatever this is so yeah so they they actually the message here seems to be not to overthink things right now keep doing your work i am getting that there's lot of work happening and stuff like that but they're actually telling you to take some sort of time out here okay and and if not time out they're just telling you not to <laughs> like <laughs> this energy is like this everything is on his head okay they're telling you that you're not the only one responsible okay spirit is responsible for the outcome okay and and it's going to be great it's going to be very stable whatever this is you do not have to be anxious okay you don't have to be so anxious and if you're not anxious you don't have to continuously think about this okay <laughs> i am also getting another message here now take it as it resonates okay spirit is giving you a lot of downloads okay spirit is giving you a lot of downloads um in your mind space all right lot of thoughts ideas downloads okay and you need to be a bit receptive okay you need to be a bit receptive here Yeah, I am getting that. Like you know, there there seems to be more of a bent of mind here, which is like you know, like there's so many thoughts within you. You're not getting spirits' messages, all right? Perhaps, all right. So they are telling you to balance yourself, balance your thinking and your feeling. Okay, get into your feeling sense. Okay, if you're too much in the thinking sense, get into your feeling sense. when you are in that balance you're going to get many more ideas inspiration solutions to whatever whatever it is that you are dealing with okay so now i'm going to ask like some more 
and what shall we ask next so what is what is this what else do you want to tell uh pile number two about this yeah so they they are going to be more receptive but what what more do you want to tell pile two okay so what is this um four okay yeah four of cups all right this guy looks like he's doing a dumbbell <laughs> okay uh maybe maybe this is a message about exercising for some of you <laughs> okay then we have the six of cups okay and then we have wow we have balance we have justice eight okay yeah i was telling you about balancing yourself out right yeah so what do we see here hmm what else does spirit want to tell you see i have a feeling pile too that you guys might be uh you know feeling a little bit like uh in a very uh, bored sort of an energy okay like with this four of cups some of you might even be exercising it off <laughs> which is great <laughs> okay but overall i'm sensing that uh, whatever you have might not be satisfying you too much and spirit is telling you that justice is coming like this whole spread is talking to me about justice balance justice truth okay this is going to come out all right maybe this is what you guys are like worried about or thinking too much about there is a certain time here okay that i'm seeing like i i feel like it's like uh, how do i put that um when the perfect balance is struck is when things are going to happen okay <laughs> this is what they're saying all right this thing this whatever this is that you guys are looking out for aspiring for thinking about this is going to be a gift from spirit and it's going to come to you when the perfect balance is struck okay there is something here about not just you balancing out your energies but there's something here about um, the energies in general balancing out you know like the mean to to come to a mean position you know the perfect position is what i'm getting okay and so all this this entire justice card is covering this deck okay you don't have to go back and think about like you know uh, do you have to do this do you have to give this do you have to get this you don't have to feel bored and feel as though nothing is happening okay your due will come to you okay this is going to happen this is like the whole like the, the just justice is hovering above you guys okay it's covering you guys okay so even if things seem not to be moving right now or things like that do not go by appearances all right spirit wants to gift you a lot i am sensing okay but maybe uh they just waiting for the mean point okay waiting for the perfect balance to happen and that's when everything is going to be crystal clear yeah we just had a firecracker <laughs> okay so this is what they want to tell you about um about this message now i'll just take some advice some some advice for you guys let's see what else any advice you have for pile 2 spirit stuff handling this deck it's very heavy i must say hmm what is the advice for pile 2 
okay we have seven okay seven of cups okay which is yeah dreaming fantasy hmm and then we have what is this nine of swords yeah you guys are overthinking something i don't know what it is you're you're dreaming you're overthinking you're getting confused perhaps even page of swords right how do i put this 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 way yeah page of swords is this right 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 Hmm. I don't know. Do you guys like wanna? I think you guys are overthinking uh, about giving some sort of information, okay, to someone, okay, and you have all kinds of like permutation combinations and you know thoughts and ideas going on in a, in your head. you know about getting some information or giving some information okay spirit is telling you that see you're not going to get much right now okay i told you there is a divine time there's a there's a time when the scales are going to be balanced and that's when everything is going to be clear so right now don't overthink things don't try to figure out certain solutions don't try to get too much information or give information okay because it's it's really not going to help it's only going to stress you out even more like with this nine of swords okay so big message here uh, pile 2 to, to stop overthinking it all right there is a time everything is going to be amazing you know in terms of that when the time comes okay and something beautiful solid is going to be built when that time comes until then you're supposed to be or or they're advising you to be receptive because you will get information ideas solutions through your intuition and they're telling you not to be too worried about giving or getting some sort of information okay because page of swords is information All right just relax and trust in the divine all right this is your advice <laughs> pile 2 okay bye okay so pile 3 with the dark yellow stone um what is the special message that spirit has for you today let's have a look Okay, let's see. High priestess. Okay, um, I got high priestess in pile one, so if you might like to check that out. Okay, high priestess, king of swords, king of swords. Hmm. Five of cups. so what do we see here in terms of a painting see guys i think at this time you guys are a little bit like feeling low okay maybe there is you're feeling in low energies a bit sad i'm not seeing too sad but there might be a tendency for you to look at past things you know like uh, past hurts or something like that honestly i, <laughs> I don't know i i am getting with the high priestess and the king of swords see the king of swords is a very very intelligent person they get it they get the gist of the communication they are very cerebral very intelligent okay then there is a moon which is covering the whole of the night uh, the king of uh, swords okay 
your intuition is extremely high right now pile number three okay i am getting that okay and i am getting with the five of cups see the five of cups is about looking behind looking at the past and i am getting that maybe at this time you guys might be tapping in into some sort of past life memories some sort of yeah something that um it's not necessary past life memories it could even be something that uh, has happened in this life in the past okay but i don't know like you are primed right now to get some sort of knowledge pile number 3 i don't know in pile 1 also was getting something like that okay the, you guys are being shown or will be shown some sort of secret or sacred knowledge with respect to some sort of a situation in that has happened in the past okay either in this lifetime or in past lifetimes okay that's what i'm getting all right yeah and you are going to grasp it this time okay you are in a very very highly intuitive stance at this time i think with with this king of swords i do feel you have asked for some truth pile number 3 you have perhaps asked the divine for some truth and that tr truth is going to be revealed to you regarding something that happened in the past okay this is something that might come through your intuition i feel or for some of you i feel it might come in the night night time or something because i'm seeing the moon here or during a crescent moon i'm not sure but i'm going to read out what's there in this um um what do you call it this book okay there is a poem here in the pages of a secret book lies the key to your inner lock the <clears throat> the in this insight is a truer gaze the wisest light to guide your ways yeah yeah <laughs> there was a firecracker yeah there is some sort of secret knowledge i don't know this is what i was getting for pile number one as well but anyways this some secret knowledge that is coming your way that is going to make you understand better or grasp something better which ha which is related to the past okay that's that's what i'm getting so what is this secret knowledge what is it about obviously they will not tell me everything i know <laughs> but what is this okay what is this secret What is this secret or hidden knowledge pile uh, for pile three? Can you give us a hint? this is the knight of cups okay yeah something is being offered here yeah the sun yeah please excuse the firecrackers diwali has obviously not yet ended in india <laughs> okay so um yeah the sun oh my gosh this is powerful stuff pile number 3 Hmm. They're not telling me. This is something that with the two of swords here. This is something that uh, you will not see coming. Pile three. You won't see this coming. All right. It's like a very bright moment. Your eyes are gonna be like this. Okay, like the sun here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Okay, but I'm gonna show it to you because it's very clear. you know the eyes your eyes are going to be like the sun here okay you're going to be in shock yeah this is some sort of a hidden secret that you will not see coming okay the divine doesn't want to tell me too much over here about this but 
you're gonna be shocked okay and you won't see this coming it's very near i think it's hovering right above your head okay i don't know this could be a download also you know because high priestess is a card of like you know uh, intuition unknown hidden knowledge secret knowledge this is being offered to you by the source okay i am getting that this is some sort of a gift of sorts that a gift of clarity a gift of clarity and joy that is being given to you by the divine like straight from the source okay wow yeah it's a gift like they maybe you asked for it i don't know okay but i really feel you are un, you you, are, you don't know this like you don't know much about this but it is coming it's going to be very powerful guys okay this something about this is going to be very powerful okay like i don't know i'm i'm getting this high frequency vibe here you're going to be sh very pleasantly shocked and happy okay um but more than that they don't want to tell me it's some sort of hidden knowledge secret secret sacred knowledge like what <laughs> so do you have any sort of like uh, divine do you have any um advice for pile two re regarding this any advice for pile two regarding this okay let's see what is the advice here queen of cups yeah this is a re repeating card from pile one so maybe you like to check that out okay uh what is this oh my god this is the death card please don't worry this is something good like i told you let's see what the diagram this is the chariot all right two major arcanas here Hmm. see the first thing that i'm getting over here as an advice is to be receptive be the queen of cups okay uh when this happens be the queen of cups it's going to remove any kind of confusions that you have pile one okay and if after this you do have any confusions once this knowledge is revealed in whichever way it's revealed externally internally download news whatever it is okay uh it's going to end any um, it's going to end any uh confusion okay because i'm seeing one horse is facing this way the other horse is facing this way right so it's possible you have been very confused about something in your life okay and seeking clarity all right and finally that clarity is coming and it's going to slice away this diversity okay this confusion that you have in your mind about um you know about whatever this thing is that you seek clarity about that you're seeking clarity about it's going to clear away any confusion okay and i am i mean the only advice honestly i'm getting is not to um honestly i'm only getting that you know be like <laughs> uh be very uh, receptive okay be very receptive it's possible when this thing is uh, revealed to you um you might be in two minds okay uh, due to some reason because of the strength of it power of it but you will have to choose okay yeah that's another message i'm getting you'll have to choose one thing here okay and you will you will choose it and you'll make the right choice let me just like pick one more here okay let's see ace of pentacles hmm yeah i mean i don't know i i'm getting more of like rather than advice here i'm getting that see everything is good fit now you know once you are revealed this thing okay everything 
will fit all the points of the star will join and will form a circle you won't be here here and there okay everything is coming to a perfect circle okay like completion i'm getting completion here like the world card they are just honestly i'm not really getting this as much of an advice i'm just getting that something in the tangible world is coming something powerful that the divine is offering to you okay which is going to fit all the dots and sweep away all your confusions in one shot pile three you are no longer going to be here and there in the 3d about this you are going to be very very um solid okay just be receptive be in a very calm energy but honestly like you you can't really do much this is divine intervention that's coming your way and it's coming in 3d because this is the ace of pentacles and it's going to be a brand it's going to be a very transformative moment okay when this happens okay so they're just telling you to wait for it allow it to happen and wait for it that's the only advice i'm getting okay but this is something that is coming your way pile three okay so this is what i'm getting i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> let's hope that you know the messages resonate okay bye